Alrighty guys, um, I had to steal some parts out of uh, my experimental 350. Um, I needed this handlebar and I needed all my clutch stuff because um, I had I put 346 clutch stuff in that uh, and I needed uh, these mounts right here. So I distilled the bolts, the mounts, uh, a few nuts and bolts, and uh, a handlebar and the clutch stuff. But uh, right here's one, it says 351, uh, and the tag will say 351 on it, but this is a 346, um, 42 millimeter, uh, brand new top end that I did all that uh, port work on. This is an OEM muffler that come off my 50cc one that I picked up that somebody had already did look like a Dino Joel deflector on this side, and then I just enhanced the, the factory outlet. Um, the only aftermarket piece on this saw is the bracket right here. I did not, I wanted to keep my OEM one for mine. Um, but uh, that's the brand new top cover. Really good shape gas tank. And uh, I advanced the timing a little bit. Uh, this thing pumps over really well. It is rough bench tuned in. Uh, I did go with uh, a, a Zama carburetor. Um, I did have one so I put a Zama on it. I wanted the wall bro for the other one. So uh, I think it's a newer 50cc carburetor. But uh, see if she'll start back up. Um, make sure I get things in frame widen the tripod out here so I don't knock it over. But uh, she is uh, looking pretty good. I forgot to put stickers on that thing. Uh, let's see here. We'll go with a small one. And because uh, Wolf Creek hooked us up with the bearings and gaskets on this one, we'll, uh, we'll put a Wolf Creek sticker on it too. What did I do with my glass cleaner? We got smudges. Trying to think and make it. Alcohol pad normally works better, but I heard it out of that. But we'll just have to settle for some glass. Yeah, this was kind of a fun little build, but sucks I didn't have all the parts. I'll just have to order them up for my other saw. a brand new uh, top cover. I guess I'll show you what she looks like under the hood too. I had to steal a snap off my other uh, 346. I'm going to buy all brand new ones I think for that one. That's going to be an absolute uh, mint build. This one's not far off from being pretty minty. I don't scratch the cover all up. So Um, I only got one metal band, that's for the other one, 
Uh, this is a really tight fit intake, so it does have the OEM clamp, but I also smeared uh, sealant uh, all the way around the boot and uh, pushed it on. It ain't going anywhere. It's the same sealant I put down for the for the jug, but uh, yeah, get you a close up. This thing turned out. Uh, I did nip the things off there so she's fully adjustable. But uh, yep, needs a 346 sticker there and a sticker right there. Uh, I am missing the chain catch right there. I might order one, might not. I put my best. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that steel piece in there uh, I have another one ordered off eBay for the other one so yeah, I think uh, I think that's a pretty nice looking 346 let me know what you guys think we'll have to I'll have to get caught up on some time and uh, get this thing uh, the wood pile so I can uh, try her out. I use the best clips that I, that I had. The other ones are cracked. So, but uh, yeah, I gotta get this piece for the other one yet. A few other odds and ends, but that's a nice quiet uh, works out. We'll see if she'll swear back up. There's that one's bench run. I did get the bearings pressed uh, into the other one's cases and the seals put in. Um, just thinking about maybe tomorrow I get on that I might make a video on showing uh, how to cold press a crank in. But I don't know, it just depends on how I'm feeling. So, alright, you guys take it easy and have a good one.